Where can I have you go ahead and clap? Yep. Oh, I can do that Sit very well. Sound, marker. Got it. Okay. Hey. 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 I'm Ali Helenga, a 2016 Grady grad, and I am here with Deborah Roberts, a woman who needs absolutely no introduction. Well, maybe a little. Deborah is an ABC News correspondent, a fellow Grady grad. That's right. And our 2019 commencement speaker. So Deborah, I have a ton of questions for you. So if you're ready, you're going to put me on the spot. I'm going to put you on the spot. Okay. You ready for it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So where did you grow up? I grew up in Perry, Georgia. Just south of here, probably 120 miles. Okay, okay. What high school did you go to? Perry High School. Conveniently. Easy. Yes, Perry. exactly. I like that. Exactly. I like that. When you first arrived at UGA, how'd you feel? I was absolutely terrified. Okay, believe it or not, I had never s set foot on the campus until really? I got here. I agreed and decided to come to this school sight unseen except for brochures. And that was long before online. So I just knew I wanted to come here, and this was the first time I was here. Nice. Yikes. What did you major in? Uh, I started off as a drama major. Okay. I thought I wanted to pursue theater, and after my first quarter, I thought, this isn't for me. <laughs> and I went to the journalism school and never left. Go Grady. Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. So what dorm did you live in? Brumby. Me too. What floor? Oh, 12th floor? I don't remember the floor. Okay, I was on 8. Okay. Okay, is there a 12th floor? I don't know. No. <laughs> I was up high, but I don't okay, remember yeah, the floor. Somewhere. Yes. <laughs> How would your college friends have described you? Oh, perky, um, optimistic, uh, energetic, maybe a little annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is a UGA professor that you still remember? Kent Middleton. He was a law professor, and I was not you know, given to law, and I just was so intrigued by his class, and I was, I think, determined that I was going to do well, and I did do well in his class, and I still remember it. As a student, what were you involved in? Believe it or not, I just kind of got involved in my studies and friends. I was kind of a little nerdy that way. I didn't join any sororities. I didn't join any clubs. I kind of found my group of friends and just sort of stayed, you know, sort of focused, and that was it. Boring. <laughs> it's <all> boring. <laughs> Your favorite place to eat in Athens is? Schlotsky's, and there was some place that was an all-you-can-eat kind of farmer something buffet, and whenever we were really hungry, we would go right there. there. Yeah. I love it. What's a college memory that's really stuck with you? The very first football game when I walked onto the stadium. I had never in experienced anything like that before. This massive, massive stadium and this massive crowd and the wave and go dogs. Still remember it. Do you remember who was playing? Oh, no. I don't remember who we played. But, of course, I remember Georgia Tech. <laughs> of course. <laughs> never forget that one. What was the most difficult thing you had to do in college? Oh, gosh. Economics. Oh, I was horrible I at economics, that. yes, exactly, and I had to satisfy my course, and I had to take it, and I mm -hmm. hated economics. <laughs> so when did you graduate from UGA? 1982. What was your first job after college? My first job after college was at WTVM Television in Columbus, Georgia. A general assignment reporter, and I eventually switched to the education beat and worked there for about two years. Okay. And if you weren't an anchor, what would you be? Oh, my gosh, what would I be? I don't know, because I feel like I sort of found my place, and um, I love learning, and I love exploring, and I love traveling, and traveling the world, so I don't know. What would let me do all those things? Flight attendant? Marketing director? I don't know. Yes. You can make it work. I don't know. I'm not sure. The most challenging interview you conducted was with? Al Gore. I interviewed him when he was running against George W. Bush for president, and he was very intimidating, and he was a little bit stiff, and I was so nervous that I don't know that I got anything worthwhile out of him. If you could have dinner with one person, living or dead, who would it be? Oh, Maya Angelou? Um, I think she was such a fascinating person, and I love her writing, and I love her sense of evolution and discovery, so maybe Perfect answer. Your guilty pleasure. Fried foods and carbs, because oh, those yes. are things that I try to avoid because I'm a little bit of a health nut, but whenever I feel like it, a piece of fried chicken and a biscuit. What's your Southern proud? girl. Southern girl. Yeah. yeah. What's your proudest moment? Uh, two of them, when my children were born, my daughter and my son, and uh, maybe I'll add to that tonight. Biggest pet peeve? Um, bad manners. When people bump into you or walk in front of you and they don't say, pardon me. Beach, mountain, or city? Beach. Oh, hands down, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you could have a superpower, what would it be? Um, to fly, because I'm so impatient, and I always want to get from point A to point B, and I'm always oh, running yeah. around. So if I could fly, that would be fabulous. 
So you are making a very generous gift to the university to endow a scholarship. Thank you. What impact do you hope this has on the next generation? I want to inspire another kid, maybe very much like myself, in maybe a small town in Georgia, who might be dreaming of doing big things, but may not even think it's possible, and may have never thought of the University of Georgia as an option, and I want to make that an option, and make that kid, um, uh, give that kid the possibility of great success. Okay, so last question. Your number one tip for graduating students. Um, be prepared to fail in life and know that it is not the end, that it can be the beginning. That is evergreen advice. Can we call the dogs together? Uh, yes, yeah. here we go. <laughs> go, go dogs! Sing them! Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> that was fabulous. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that was great. That was great. Call the dogs. Yeah. You kind of got me on that one. Good. How do we do? Now we let's do the real deal after the practice.